हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू येट अनदर वीडियो ऑफ हिंदू चुडाइक वी विल टॉक अबाउट ऑल अबाउट एस फाय न्यूक्लियर सबमरीन प्रोग्राम ऑफ इंडियन नेवी चुडाइक रिक्वेस्ट यू टू प्लीज सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल एंड इफ यू हैव ऑलरेडी सब्सक्राइब द चैनल प्लीज क्लिक ऑन द बेल आइकन टू गेट द नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ ईच वीडियो अपलोड फ्रॉम हिंदू चुडाइक In 2014 the Indian Navy received a rude shock when a Chinese Shang class nuclear powered submarine was detected in the Indian Ocean. In response, India test fired a dummy B5 missile from the INS Aryan, the newest nuclear submarine to be inducted into the Indian Navy. In 2016 the Aryan was commissioned and then in 2018 the INS Arigat The second Aryan class submarine began sea trials as part of the advanced technology vessel project. Now, reports have surfaced of the new, larger, much more powerful S5 class nuclear submarine, which will be equipped with up to 12 kV ICBMs with multiple independent re-entry type nuclear or conventional warheads. It will be a successor to the INS Aridhaman and a large version of the INS Aryan. The class will be populated by 3 units in the beginning with another 3 planned over the next decade. Each one will weigh about 13500 tons. It will be equipped with submarine launch ballistic missiles, cruise missiles and torpedoes. The subs will be built as part of the advanced technology vessel project with an overall cost of almost 90000 crore Indian rupees. making it one of the costliest defense programs to date bhaba atomic research center will be building the nuclear power plants for the sy subs the project will be carried out at new delhi with the hull being built at gujarat missile r&d at hyderabad while the nuclear reactor will be built in tamil nadu the final assembly will be done at visakhapatnam The submarine will enter service by 2030. The S5 SSBNs will carry 12 to 16 K6 MIRV submarine launched ballistic missiles with a range of 8000 km and a 2 to 3 tons of explosive payload. These missiles will have three stages of propulsion, all of which use solid fuel. The K6 missiles are intended to be 2.5 meters wide and 12 meters tall. The MIRV missiles will have 3 to 6 warheads that can be navigated independently. These missiles are smaller than the K15 Sagarika mounted in the INS Aryan, although with more than double the range. The 83 megawatt pressurized water nuclear reactor used in the Aryan will be upgraded or a twin reactor setup will be used to provide the plant power output of 190 megawatt the submarine will most likely be propelled by a ducted pump jet propulsor which emits less noise and is thus more difficult to detect via sonar the steam turbine is to be linked to one single shaft to improve mechanical efficiency and reduce the number of working parts a new material for the hull is being developed by the mishra dhatu nigam and this will be able to withstand the tremendous amounts of pressure and with anti sonar properties key to the s5 performance the hydroplane or the fin like structure is not placed on the mast but is flush with the rest of the body the speed will be around 25 knots submerged and 15 knots when self faced the s5 will be housed in a submarine pen at Rambilly 50 km south of Visakhapatnam this base called the INS Varsha will be home to all nuclear submarines ballistic and attack and nuclear powered ships it will have underground pens to hide its asset from drones and satellites the submarine can be concealed the moment it travels a distance of 2 nautical miles from land and can achieve diving depth after sailing another 
80 nautical miles. Each S5 will take 8 years to build. A minimum of 4 S5s will have to be built to ensure presence both in Bay of Bengal and the Indian Ocean. The S5 is reported to be similar to the American OEO class ballistic missile submarine. It is obvious now that S5 nuclear submarines will form the backbone of Indian Navy. Friends, hope you like the video. Please subscribe us for more such videos. Thank you.